Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare Speed tutorial series. Actually, it's more like a kind of a tutorial Let's Play series. <laughs> um, so what, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go find as many sinks as we possibly can in an effort to find ourselves another wrench so that we can then make the workbench. We're able to make the workbench. Uh, I just don't want to burn my one and only wrench in the process of doing that until we have another wrench. Now, I am going to go ahead and make a, a repair kit. Uh, to repair the current wrench that we have because it's in pretty bad shape so let's do this uh by the way i also wanted to mention that I, i'm recording uh episode eight here right after episode seven so i haven't seen your comments from episode seven yet so uh, just kind of keep that in mind as we go along here okay so we got that uh let's hang on to it though until we absolutely need to repair this uh so what are we doing over here we are just melting down iron there uh we already have 54 of those, too, which is good. Um, so I think, why don't we grab this money and just hop over to Trader Hugh really quick and just see what he's got, just for the halibut. And then, um, don't think we have anything else we need to melt down right at the moment. And uh, we have food and drink, so yeah, we're good to go. Uh, so let's head on down here, and we're just going to run over to Trader Hugh really quick, see what he's got. Uh, if he has a really cheap, like, level one wrench for sale, we might just go ahead and buy it. Honestly, I'm not worried about money in this game because by the time I'm done with these playthroughs, I am just loaded. I have more money than I know what to do with, and what most people usually do is just break it down for brass. Uh, now, it is my understanding that in Alpha 20, you know, there's been some balancing uh, that the fun pimps have done uh, to, to make money more useful in the end game. Not exactly sure what those are. We're going to have to get that cobble and cement over there at some point, but I don't need to do that right now. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be interesting to see, you know, how they handle that. Okay. We are running out of stamina. Let's go ahead and actually take a drink. And food, we're pretty good on food. Let's just let the food stay where it is for now. And then we're just going to go ahead, you know, POIs, like we've been doing, uh, in uh, looking for sinks in particular. Because that's where usually where you find uh, pipe wrenches. Oh, I know why we're at, at running out of stamina so quickly, because we have the heavy armor on now. I should not have left that open. Yeah, um, but, you know, we're going to be in a vehicle here pretty soon, and then the running around won't really matter. matter. Right now... Uh, we want to we want to be Everything as tough as we can. For sale. And we also can take a job from him too. Uh, I don't want to do buried supplies yet, not till we get the vehicle. Um, but we could do this fetch, which is really close if by. And yeah, let's do that. We have a deal. All right, let's Come see what back. you got let's for go. sale. Do you have a cheap wrench? You have the wrench schematic for sixteen hundred, which is just a little beyond what we can afford. Uh, okay. What about over here or here? Ooh, you got a cheap pistol. We're going to buy that. Um, he's got an orange pump shotgun. Oh, and he's got a cheap wooden bow, too, for 400 Boy, that's, uh, that is kind of tempting. You have a crossbow by chance? You know what? I'm going to buy that, too. E even the cheap wooden bow is so much better than the primitive bow. So much better. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so you don't have an actual wrench. You got a double barrel, but it's just a little bit more than we can afford at the moment, especially now that we just spent that money. But that's okay. I think that was money well spent for where we currently Those are in the are game. Like hotcakes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our, uh, our wooden bow here, and we're going to load up our iron arrows. And then we're just going to scrap these two things because he won't buy those from us anyway. Uh, we'll go back and get our 9 mil ammo from the base, and then we'll actually have a pistol, which will be great in case we need it, because I'm sure we will. Uh, I think we're probably getting close to the point where we don't need the stone spare anymore, but we'll hang on to it for just a little bit longer. Let's take a look at the vending machine, too, now that we have a little bit of coin. Um, the eye candy wouldn't be bad, but, I mean, you know, our lucky looter is in such terrible shape right now that I don't know that that's really going to do us a whole lot of good at the moment. Um, I'd almost read you'd like to get some more coffee for mining, but nah, you know what? Let's just wait. Let's just wait. We're going to get some money for finishing his quest, so we'll just kind of hang on to things right now. Make sure there's nobody out here. 
Okay, let's go back to the house, get the nine mils, and then um, well, we might as well just go ahead and do his quest. Oh, shit. I just Something just occurred to me. I wonder if... No, it's not. Okay. I was going to say, man, that could be our, actually be our house. I think it's the cabin that we already tried to break into. Um, so it's everything's been reset in it, so... Yeah, you have to be careful when you, um, you know, base up at POIs because what will happen is if if you take an actual quest there, then um, it'll, you know, it'll reset the place and you'll lose all your stuff. And it's not something that we want to see happen. I heard footsteps over here. Oh, it's Arlene. You know what? Uh, we can take Arlene on now with the armor that we have. Yeah, we can take her on. All right, let's see if we can get a good sneaky sneak shot off on her. This bow is so much better. We walk. She's going to see us before we can shoot her, I think. Yeah, she's like really fast. But she's also probably the weakest zombie in the game, too. She's still got a, a hit off on us, but, you know... Uh, we only lost about, what, 15 health instead of about 30 that we otherwise would have. While we're here and while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to quickly grab uh, the cobble and the cement. So let me just get that done really quick. Okay, we're back at the base here. Uh, I found this Fireman's Almanac in the trash. Uh, Molotovs and torches burn longer, which is good. Or the effects of them, rather, I should say. Uh, let's grab all of the 9 mil ammo out of here. So that's 70 rounds. That's pretty good. Oh, and plus we have 16 rounds already in the gun. So that's awesome. We finally have our first real gun. Okay, let's put let's put stuff back in here for now. Um, But we'll keep a few things with us that we want to take into the house. Uh, Blunderbuss. Yeah, we want the arrows. I, I'll hang on to the torch for just a little bit longer. We want to keep that in case we want to break something down. I think we're good to go. I'm um, I'm going to take one bacon and eggs because we are a bit hungry, plus it'll heal us back up for pretty close to full. And we have eight tea and we're good to go. All right. Let's go do this house again. This time we'll get quest reward action for it. In addition to uh, the possibility of finding a wrench in here. And yeah, hopefully we we don't have to do too much more running around because it's a uh, it's hard, man, <laughs> but with the heavy armor on at this point. Uh, oh, we got to do the. Oh, this is a different house. It's this cabin. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, I've done this cabin before. We can do that. In fact, you know what? We may maybe we ought, we ought to try and double loot this. Uh, yeah, let's try and double loot it. What the hell? Oh, that's just Crawler. Alright, let's do it with him. There's nothing in there. Okay. <coughs> I'm not worried about grabbing the, the stone. We got plenty of stone. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our axe. What? Where the hell is our axe? Did I accidentally put it away? Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, here, let's just make another one. Stone axe. We are missing plant fibers. I must have accidentally put it away. It's a, the one we have is a green axe, I think, but it doesn't make that much difference at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Something in my throat. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is punch a hole, <coughs> hole in here and <coughs> see if we can take these guys out before they take out the door. Okay, we need to back up a little bit. 
That door should last for quite some time, so let's just wait for our standing to come back. Okay, he's down. Marlene's a little harder to hit. Okay, let's make sure there's nobody in here. I think we're good. Close this door. Okay, let's loot. Pain pill, that's good. Nightstand, we do need some more clothes. Well, that's not what we need, though. Just scrap that. I don't care about the die. Okay, we got some beer. Come on, pipe wrench. Come on, pipe wrench. Damn it. I'm not keeping that stuff. And then we're going to... Yeah, let's not keep that right now either. Not something we absolutely need right at the moment. Okay. Those are not lootable. <clears throat> All right, we're going to have a Zombo down here. It's a uh, Cowboy Bob. Let's use our blunderbuss on him. Okay. There's a Kim bench down here. I wonder what the chances are of that thing actually working. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, here's the fat loots. Got some dog food. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go here. Uh, we'll put that on our leg. There's just three more slots. Fan, freaking tastic, man. Um, okay, we're going to take the Kim bench apart. No clothes in that stuff. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. Nothing else to loot. Okay, let's break this down. Then we'll check the main loot and uh, start over again. We might get a wrench out of the main loot. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we'll take three repair kits and... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's remove that and put that in its place. So this has eight heavy armor. This one only had seven. So we're just going to scrap a doodle of that thing right now. And we're also going to modify this and put one of those on there. Uh, this we could fix up and sell, so we'll hang on to that, and we're going to modify this and put these on here. That's just going to make us a little bit quieter. So yeah, that's not bad stuff. Uh, you know, all things all things considered, not bad stuff. Okay, let's take this apart, get parts for it, and then we're going to start this whole thing over again, except for this time we're going to have to clear the whole place. All right, I looked around for uh, my green axe and I couldn't find it so I must have accidentally scrapped it I guess I don't know what the hell I did with it but anyways it's gone so all right this is a fetch quest so we don't actually have to kill everybody in here um and it looks like it's probably just going to be down in that same basement we were just in I don't remember any substantial loot in that side of the building so we might just do a repeat of what we just finished doing so let's try this again Okay. Oh, we got three this time. All right, if we have that many, let's just use this. Hopefully nobody comes from the outside. We've got a decent amount of blunderbuss ammo. I missed him. 
Didn't miss him that time. Okay. Didn't we have three zombos? What happened to the third one? Let's check this place again. It appears to be clear. Hmm. Okay, close that. Get our arrow back. A little bit dark in here. Sorry about that, guys. Come on, wrench. Oh, we got two asses. We needed that, too. Okay. Well, we needed that, too, for sure. Got some bones out of the grill. And that's pretty much it for in here. Okay, let's go. You know what? Just in case a zombie comes wandering by outside, let's uh, at least put that there. And then let's go take care of whatever zombos downstairs. It's Big Mama. She's going to take a few more shots than Cowboy Bob did. Got her. Oh, good. We got our point, too. Okay, that point's going directly into a Grease Monkey. And now the mini bike is within our reach. We just need to find another wrench and get the rest of whatever we need for it. Sledgehammer parts. Ammo. Main chest. Ooh, nice. Very nice. All right, I'll take all that stuff. Let's go here. Uh, this has eight armor. This has eight, too. But this has a little more durability. The yellow one does. So modify, take that off of there. Modify, put that on. And wear. Scrap a doodle of this. Uh, Spear Hunter we can sell. We have a uh, Crippler mod. We'll put that on our pistol. Okay. Pretty good. And we got uh, three Molotovs, too, which is going to come in any of these. We can just scrap. Does this work? Nope. Of course it doesn't. But we got some of that, so... Okay. Let's take this apart. Okay. The fat loots is right here, if we can get up there. There we go. Nice. Quest is done. I wonder if we can get back to the trader in time. Yeah, we should be able to. Well, we, I, I think we can. Remember, we're uh, a little heavy. Here, let's get rid of this. And let's scrap this. That still puts us two over. I'm going to chuck the plastic even though I just got it. Um, actually, no. Here, let's do this. We'll just go take... We, we have to run by the house anyway, so... We'll just run by the house. We gotta hurry, though. Get this ready in case we run into an emergency. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while. We might have to burn a coffee just to get over there in time. And you are... You must think you're okay. pretty hot shit now. Oh, uh, you did it. I so guess that's what we'll take. Agreement. All right. What's your next job? Something close by... I have a little... No, 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 decline. Scaredy cat. Um... That fetch is a little further away. This you one's a little closer. Help me. Great. Let's get down to work then. Okay. So we already checked you for a ranch, right? I think we did. Doggone it. Okay. What about a wheel? Do you have a wheel? No, I don't think he sells wheels, actually. 
Uh, do you happen to have the mini bike chassis? No, you don't. All right. Got a scope there. Lucky Looter Volume 1. The wrench schematic. Yeah, we can't afford that. Really? We only have 330 coin? I'm going to have to ask you. I he would have given us more money than that, but... That's weird. I wonder if we should sell the Magnum bullets. I mean, it's probably going to be a while. How much can we sell them for? We're going to get kicked out of here in a second. 300? Yeah, let's just that's do it. That's all you're going to buy? I'll let you show yourself out. I mean, the chances of us finding a, a Magnum before we're done with this little tutorial series is not likely. It's possible, of course, but not likely. Okay, that's cheerleader. She's deadly fast. Where is our new quest at? It's uh, way, way over that way. Okay. Well, we're not going to be doing that. Probably not going to be doing that tonight. Hey, chicken. You folks know that Trader Joel's is closing soon. You'd think I've played this game a few times, huh? Trader Joel's is a closing soon. Could take this bus apart, but with our crappy level one wrench and no, for Pete's sake, no skill uh, in salvage, that would take a very long time. And possibly even cause us to have to burn an extra repair kit, which we don't want to do. Okay, we're going to do one last thing before we wrap up the episode today. And that one last thing is... Is we're gonna go snag the loot. Yeah, I don't know about snagging the loot from Aldo's. That could be risky. Uh, but we do have the oat mill close by somewhere here. And that's pretty easy loot to get to. I can remember where the hell's at. If we nerd pulled up on top of Aldo's, I think we get three zombos and we have no choke point for him. Yeah, that is not something we're going to do right now. That's not something we're going to do right now. Okay, where in the hell's the the mill? Maybe it's not as close as I thought it was. We have got to uh, get our mini bike ASAP because this running around just sucks with our stamina drain and all that. I wonder if the, maybe the mill was in the other town and I'm confusing it. Unless, no, it's over that way. Okay, it's a little further away than I thought it was. Well, okay, our, our priority is still to find a wrench. Um, because I just don't want to be without one. You know, uh, we've already talked about that. Oh, shit, I forgot to sell them that. <laughs> I always forget to sell them stuff. Okay, well, we'll put that in there. Do we have any bank in here? Yeah, we do. So we have a total of 955 coin. Um, So we're going to leave that in there. We'll put this stuff in here, I guess, for now. And we'll keep everything else with us. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're kind of at a good stopping point here. Um, You know what? Let's Let's go raid the kitchen in that house real quick before I let you go. Oh, I missed it. Okay, wow. We were fortunate that we didn't bust our leg or something there. So let's just go raid the kitchen in this place real quick and see if we can find a wrench, because if we can, then I'm making the workbench. If not, then we're just going to have to keep looking. It is dark. There's not a lot of places in here we can set up a choke point. Let's get rid of this. Put 
put that there. There, that'll buy us enough time to skedaddle if uh, we aggro anything. Okay, come on, wrench. Please, please, please. Oh, for Pete's sake. No wrench there. Coffee? Okay, we got some coffee. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to be finding a wrench in here. So we'll have to just keep looking. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Uh, is that cabinet over there lootable? I don't think so. What the hell? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't fall down there. I'm glad we didn't fall down there. Let's get our stuff back here. Doesn't seem to be any sleepers in anywhere on the top floor here. Yeah. I just, I, I just, as soon as that, or like, I'd say a half a second before that happened, my brain was saying, hey, you better watch out. The floor might still cave in. Whew. Okay, what's, um... What's in here? Oh, that just goes out onto the porch. Okay. No zombies in there. Oh, there is a cabinet here. But no wrench. Pick these up for wood. Got a bag in here. Here, let's just break this. It's easier. That's uh, a tiny upgrade. We're not. Those aren't modded at all, right? Okay. We'll scrap those. We'll scrap these. Okay. So there is an upstairs in here, and there's a basement. I mean, while we're here, should we just do it? I guess. I mean, we could still find a wrench in an upstairs bathroom sink. Okay, all the doors up here are closed, so we're not going to get immediately rushed. Let's repair that. Let's try this room first. Could be a Zombo right behind the door there. Okay, military stealth boots. Nice. Something we can do later on down the road. Let's scrap this. Let's eat some bacon and eggs, because we are hungry, and we're probably thirsty, too. No, actually, we're not that thirsty. Ooh, there's an attic there. Nope, we're good. Come on, give us some clothes. Uh, neither one of those are what we want. This gives us more heat resist. Or no, what we're wearing has more heat resist. Right? I always get that mixed up. This has 10 heat resist. This has 8. No, this is better. Okay, so let's switch that out. We need some pants, though. Why? Seems like it's always pants as the last piece of clothing I find in this game. I don't know why that is. All right. Anything behind there? Oh, boy. This is risky as all get out. Let's have this ready.
pretty sure I've been in this POI before, but I just don't remember everything about it. Not seeing any Zeeks in here unless something's going to break out of that wall or out of that thing there. Anything behind here? Can't really tell. Sometimes you can squeeze in there, but it's not letting me do it. Okay, um, I think I have, we do remember doing this POI a long time ago. Some medical supplies. Nice, we'll take that. Guess that's it for up here. Look at that, working stiffs. Okay, we'll take that, and uh, we don't need that, so we'll scrap it. Let's uh, harvest this cobblestone, because we could use it anyway, and I want to see if there's something behind. Nope, nothing behind. Okay. Is there any zombos? here. Oh, that just goes outside. Okay. Is this one of those houses that don't have any sleepies in them? Okay, we'll learn that. If we decide to spend any time in the snow biome, that'll come in handy. I could take the bed apart, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, let's check in here. Chance for a wrench. Come on, come on. Wrench, 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 wrench. <sighs> Son of a... Toilet pistol? Nope. <laughs> well, we tried. We tried. Let's get rid of that. We don't need it. Um, We're a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty, so I'm just going to eat that right now. Again, just to save space. And since we have a forge now, we can make these easy. I'm going to scrap that again to get a space back. And when we when the time comes for us to need nitrate, we'll just mine the crap out of it. So don't worry about that either. Okay, so we got the upstairs and we've got uh, the ground floor. So now we just have the basement to check. I'm really surprised we haven't found any Zeeks at all in here so far. But there could be some in the basement. Really? That's all there is to this place? No, there's a doorway right there. Hey, come on, give us some pants. Stupid game. 
Got a wolf outside. Okay, let's block that. More cabinets, possibility for wrenches. That must be the entrance to the house. Okay, what do we got here? this work? Nope. A couple of landmines, though. All right. So this goes into here. Okay. So, yeah, this is a zombo-free house. Interesting. Block that, just in case something from the outside comes after us. And we're going to wrench the workbench. Let's get rid of that and scrap that. Cobblestone. Okay, I'd like to kind of know where that wolf is. Let's just sit here for a second, see if we can hear him. He's off that way. Okay. Pretty much in the direction of our house. We're going to go this direction. I'm using the torch for your guys' sake so you can see what the hell's going on. I can see okay without it, but I'm sure you can't. Stamina. But we got a blunderbuss and a pistol. But neither one of those requires stamina. I mean, if we get into a bad situation. Okay. So we got to go that way, but we're working our way around the wolf. Since we can't distract wolves with stones. Our house is right there. Okay, we're safe. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. Um, the You know, again, the number one goal is to find ourselves 
another wrench. We gotta find it. Uh, find it, buy it. Somehow or another, we gotta come across another wrench. So that's what is on the docket for the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.